Welcome back to the channel. This is Saya Watka from Vivan Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. All that I need to know about your person and situation. So let's begin. Hope you guys are doing well. So what's happening? With the Moon card here for Scorpios being your first card, I am going to just tell you to listen to your intuition. Okay, you guys need to just listen to your gut feeling right now. Say suppose you are going through a pattern, like a toxic pattern, then you need to listen to your inner voice. It's surely guiding you some, uh, with something and you need to follow that. With Nine of Cups, I feel for many of you, you are slowly entering um, a peaceful phase, a phase where you're going to finally be at a better place in life, at a better um, space in life. Okay, so you, you need to not give up hope right now. Also with King of Cups, for many of you, I do feel like uh, you have spent a lot of time uh, possibly deciding on this connection. Uh, it could have been a third party for many of you, but those bad days are getting over now. You're soon going to be entering a better, happy phase in your life. And you, you need to be optimistic. You need to be positive about it. There is a slight possibility that you guys are dealing with the water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. With Page of Pentacles, I, I see this person reaching out on their own if you guys are waiting on it. Okay, what else do I see coming up for Scorpio? I feel with Nine of Swords here, in the past, you guys were not feeling connected to this individual. You guys did, like, did not know as to why you're holding on to this person as well. It just did not make sense with the Moon card. A part of you always felt good whenever this person was around, but then things started getting toxic, right? In terms of what's the overall energy going to be for Scorpio? The Chariot card is all, all going to be about forward movement. You moving forward in life regardless of what is happening. I feel for many of you, you will finally get that closure that you guys were waiting on. That final decision will happen. Your person is deciding on finally choosing you or coming forward or finally making that move. Okay. In terms of your person's energy, what's the energy like for the next couple of weeks? With four of one, this person definitely wants to spend their New Year's with you. They want to spend uh, this whole month with you. They want to possibly look forward to this connection. They are very, very much romanticizing this situation now. Okay. In terms of how do they think about you now? The Emperor card, they want to take control. They possibly want to put in that effort or, or that work to make things work. With three of one, they are definitely looking forward to this connection. For many of you, uh, there could have been a gap of three weeks where this person was not very much talking to you. What else do we see in terms of their feelings for you? What do we have? As feelings, we have Queen of Wands. I feel they adore you a lot. I mean, with you, that uh, they have never felt bored. Okay, you are that fun person, the person who brings in a lot of thrill, a lot of fun in their life. You're also super passionate. They have a lot of sexual feelings for you, a lot of desire. They cannot ever forget you. Like, you know, even if they were with someone else, they could not forget about you. You are constantly on their mind. With the world card, it's like you complete them. You make them feel whole. You are that special person who connects, you know, and uh, they want this, uh, this, this life, you know, with you. It's like you make complete sense as their partner and they are not willing to lose that now. You have finally been kept up that pedestal. Okay, with eight, eight of cups, they can never think of going away from you or taking you for granted now. The intentions towards this connection as we move forward. Page of cups, uh, they want to reach out to you. They want to possibly uh, apologize for whatever they have done. Okay, sounds new, sounds strange, but yes. With eight of pentacles here, they are very much wanting to see to it that you do not get away. Okay, uh, they have been planning this for a long time and they are finally going to Im like implement it with two of pentacles um yeah you know like it's been going on for almost two months now back and forth but now they are deciding of playing the cards okay with, with the justice card they want to see to it that they make it right with you they want to get back on that same uh, page okay they want to be honest, they want to be real, they want to balance the connection out. The Page of Swords, if they were rather stalking you from a distance, now they are willing to step up and face you. Okay, 
What is? It's seven of swords. If they were possibly, if they were trying to be a little sleazy, a little deceptive, then this person is finally wanting to act right. Their behavior and completely drop the unnecessary act that they were putting on and let you know that they love you and they want you and they want to be with you. Okay. What else do we see? Where is this connection going? The devil card, you'll definitely see them in person. But uh, the death card, the stagnant phase is co completely coming to an end now. Things are finally going to start changing for good. Okay. With the Ace of Pentacles, this person is definitely want to giving uh, want to give you a solid offer. Okay. In terms of what changed, what's the major shift that happened? With Page of Wands here, I I guess some of them felt like you were kind of you know like like they were losing you. In some which capacity, like they were uh, very much feeling like you are getting away. Okay, with the elephant card, they finally realized your value to uh, through the separation. And with six of pentacles, uh, now that you know they have realized it, they want to put an effort and make things right. Okay, the top card we have is ten of pentacles. They they have understood that the only thing that they can have with you is a long term connection. You're not up for anything a short term or one night stands. You're you're done with that shit. You want something stable. You want something long term, and that's exactly what they're wanting to offer this time. But four of like pentacles, they they want to possibly you know like uh, save you for themselves. You know, however that may sound. In terms of what's the major blockage still? What could still get in the way? The judgment card you having to decide on them and with the, with the tower card you letting go of the red flags that would still uh, be a little difficult for you okay in terms of scorpio dealing with a sign how is that gonna go but ten of swords this this person could have backstabbed you this person could have let you down in the past and i don't think many of you guys have been communicating with them or want, wanting to communicate but know that this person also taught you a lot through this situation you know um like not they were intending to unintentionally you have learned a lot okay they have made you stronger if you guys are dealing with water this person could have ghosted you with king of swords here this person is looking forward to this connection now they want to be honest they want to be real okay if you guys are dealing with air i i believe this person wants to come back changed okay they have learned their lesson if you guys are dealing with fire Three of Swords. They chose another person over you. They chose a third party, or they could have felt like you chose a third party. But I believe they are letting that go, or finally cutting that third party to choose you. With Five of Wands, they will put in a lot of effort compared to other signs to be able to work things out with you. Okay, you guys are dealing with Earth. How is that gonna go? You guys are dealing with Earth. This seemed like a very much a stagnant situation something that was going nowhere it, it was somewhat boring there was no thrill there was no fun okay the eight of wands there was lack of passion as well okay for some of you like this person could have uh, been very much non-responsive or non-communicative but with queen like queen of pentacles here this person does want to change that they want to be more available for you with two of swords if in the past they were not really doing anything about it this time they want to change that okay so one kind of advice for you scorpio moving forward the temperance card if this brings in that balance that happiness that fulfillment in like your life you need to look forward to this connection darling with four of swords i think you guys have taken a long break and that's enough okay and, and with king of wands it's time for action you either take them or you leave them completely there's no waiting now okay besides that let's take some love messages all that you need to know ever since i met you nobody else is worth thinking about you're the best thing that happened to me i think about you the grass wasn't greener on the other side okay one soul message you or him in the past they could, could have possibly been uh, you know like juggling between you or work or you and someone else and that kind of got in the way okay and you are my sunshine is the last message now that they have realized that you are that uh, that person who brings in a lot of happiness in their life a lot of balance in their life a lot of stability 
this time they want to get back to to you now for for real okay that's what i feel and that's what i see happening in the coming days so yes this was all that you need to know for scorpio for the next two weeks if it resonated do hit the like button do let me in the comment section if you're new to the channel do subscribe if you want a personal reading with me you could directly reach out via etsy we do have a direct 20 percent discount going on on certain orders you could directly book and let me know via whatsapp okay that is all from my side if you are on instagram you could come follow us on scorpio vibes only thank you so much for coming in thank you for your support and i hope to see you soon guys happy december